All right, what is going on? It's Nick coming back at you with an action figure review, and this is the Louisiana Rougarou, I think that's how you say it, from Creature Replica. Now, I happened across this figure and the Horror Hound uh, at my one of my local comic book shops, and I just couldn't resist. Now, they're, they are a little spendy. You're spending about 40, 45 bucks for them for, you know, what essentially is a diamond select figure. A little bit bigger, but that's about how it feels. So, let's take a look at the package. It is a massive clamshell package, which I really like the clamshell package. And then at the bottom here, you got the Louisiana Rougarou. Like I said, I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. Deal with it. I'm an idiot. And then you got Creature Replica on the side there. Little picture of the Yeti or Sasquatch there. And then you have Creature Replica along the side. You got a picture of the figure in the background with some nice swampland scenery looking pretty good. And then you have a bio on the, the company, the artist, and why they make the figures you have creature replica on the side again you have the himalayan yeti north american sasquatch the horror hound and the louisiana rougarou and then gene street studios gene street gene studios excuse me and then creature replica inc and then a list of the artists which i in my opinion did an awesome job so let's take a look at him uh he comes with a few accessories um these are kind of eh you know uh, they're ripped shirt accessories. Uh, they're sculpted pretty decently. They got pretty decent paint. Um, but, you know, you basically just kind of set them on the figure after you've gotten him posed. Which his shirt piece on his shoulder does not like to stay on that well. Let's see if I... Yeah, got it. See? But other than that... Pretty decent, pretty decent. I don't pose him with them on anyways, but no big deal. And then he does come with a base. Uh, you got these big peg holes for the bottom of his feet. Uh, the rest of it is done very well. You got good sculpt, good paint. You know, look at the different color greens. You know, you got some yellows in there, browns. I mean, it looks, looks good. It does. It's done very well. It does not feel cheap. Uh, you do have to peg this guy in right there when you take him out of package, but it is done very well. You even got some moss growing on the back of the bones. That's awesome. And then for the figure, man, I got to tell you, I'm really digging this guy. Really digging this guy. I, I uh, really like the way they did the eyes. It makes them look like it, they're shining the sculpt. I mean, look at the ears. Really digging the way they sculpted the ears. You know, they're not just kind of looking like ears. They look like ears. You know, the teeth, the jaw is articulated, so you can rah, you know, teeth are done. Look at that, just, it's done very, very well. You know, I feel like I've gotten my money's worth. I'm not disappointed one bit. Maybe a little in the articulation, but you know what? I'll sacrifice the articulation when a figure looks this good, in my opinion. Now, this is just my opinion. You may not like it. I don't care. This is this is what I think of the figure. I think they are awesome. And that's why I'm showing them to you. Because uh, I just, uh, yeah, I am really, really digging these figures. The sculpt on the back, the paint. Look at the bottoms of the feet. You know, nails are even painted well. You know, look at the detail on the arms. I mean, it just, it all looks good. It really does. I'm really satisfied with him. So, articulation-wise, his head doesn't move back that far due to the sculpt, but it does move fairly far forward. You get a little side-to-side -side movement, and then you can move left and right. His shoulders, uh, they can move back and forward, but this is where it gets a little, that's about as far as you're going to get out of them because of the sculpts. You have upper bicep swivel, you have single jointed elbows that give you about that much and then you have wrist swivel and hinge and then for the abs you get no back and forth movement you can move side to side on both of them the waist and that and that's about all you get out of them the hips are the uh well pretty much done like um 
Venom and Carnage from the Diamond Select line or Marvel Selects. Um, move about that far forward. You don't get a whole lot of range back due to the sculpts. You can move them about mm, that far forward, but then you get the ugly gap, which no big deal to me. You get about mid thigh rotation. Your single jointed knees, but give you plenty of range of motion, and they are ratcheted, so you don't have to worry about them loosening up too much. And then it looks like you get a reverse hinge about mid calf. And then you get left and right, up and down, and no ankle rocker, which kind of sucks. But once you put them on the stand, is not a big deal. Now, that's my opinion. That's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, well, sorry about your luck. And if you want to check out some customs or maybe some more reviews, check out my previous and my next videos. Later.